a ceiling fan having three blades okay so the blades are three and length of 80 centimeter each is rotating with an angular velocity of 1200 rpm so this is a ceiling uh, this is the blade of the ceiling fan and this is the length the length is 80 centimeter okay and it is rotating so this is rotating with 1200 rpm so omega is equal to 1200 rpm which is 1200 into 2 pi radian divided by 60 seconds so this becomes 20 so this is 40 pi radians per second now the magnetic field of earth in that region is 0 0.5 g now what is this g g is gauss and 1 gauss is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 tesla so this is this has to be remembered since it is asked in jmain 2024 so therefore they want us to remember this as a standard unit and the angle of dip is 30 degrees so basically what they are telling is the magnetic field is something like this in that region in this direction which is 0 0.5 gauss and this is the dip which is 30 degree so this is horizontal magnetic field and in this direction this is vertical magnetic field so therefore the vertical magnetic field is 0 0.5 into sine 30 degree into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla which is um, sine 30 is 1 by 2 so therefore 1 by 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla okay now see this is uh, like this is a fan and this is the vertical uh, component of magnetic field so therefore we can write the magnetic field uh, is see if if omega is in this direction you know like this this is how it is moving so therefore the magnetic field is like in this direction which is b uh, v b h is not going to play uh, any role because it is uh, yes it, it is not going to play any role uh, b h is not going to play any role okay so let us uh, go ahead the emf induced in the blades is n pi into 10 to the power minus 5 volt. now if you see uh, we have this uh, formula for the uh, emf emf is equal to v cross b dot l but now since omega is here so therefore at each point the velocity is going to be something different so therefore let us take x distance so here the velocity is going to be omega x and let us make it as dx so therefore the field is going to be omega x uh, not field the emf induced here is going to be omega x into b cross b which is 1 by 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla okay and uh, v cross b so this is v cross b okay in this direction so dot l okay so dot l so l is uh, like you know dx so like this we are going to have <clears throat> so this is the emf induced small emf which is induced due to this a small at this a small length so therefore total emf induced is going to be integration of this which is equal to 1 by 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla into omega x square by 2 from 0 to l so therefore it is going to be l square by 2 so therefore 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla into omega now what is omega 40 pi radian per second into l square by 2 now what is l l is 0 0.8 meters so we are writing 8 by 10 meters into 8 by 10 meters into 1 by 2 this is the emf induced which is n pi into 10 to the power minus 5 now 
um, yes so we have to calculate now so if you see here 4 into 2 is 8 so 8 it is gone this and this is also gone um, we have a uh, okay this is volt here okay pi and pi is also gone 10 to the power minus 5 so if this goes here this becomes into 10 okay 10 and again this 10 is also gone so 4 into 8 is actually 32 so therefore the value of n becomes 32 so therefore the answer is going to be 32